Don't worry though, they buffed shot speed. Do you think you could beat mom still after all these years? I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think I could probably beat mom after all these years. I, I don't think that would be much of an issue, quite honestly. I'd probably take a little more damage, I'd have to imagine. It's been a while. I don't even think it's been all these years either. I think it's been like a year and a half, two years. And again, every time you take summer vacation, you do forget how to do long division. So I ain't mad at you. I'm insane. I'm I'm actually crazy. He's going! He's going thermal mode! Wrong place to stand. Look at that though. Seamless. Oh! Didn't expect him to hit me with the up close and personal. Me personally, I prefer not to fight you like in the tar corner, but call me Lydia the way I'd be here anyway. I'm on fire. I'm gonna die because of my fire. Oh, we were so in there. Apparently the item I got was, was fire resist. Should probably put that on. It's a great idea. I had no, no clue. Amulets. Increases max HP. Increases damage inflicted on puppets. Defensive parts. The hell? Physical damage. Physical damage reduction rate. Which one is fire damage reduction rate? Oh, holy cow! <laughs> Now that is an improvement. I know my weight being higher will make me roll less good, but still. Let's just try it with that one upgrade. <laughs> I can always take off the donkey head. Yeah, it's getting a little old by now. The donkey head stays on during sex. That is just not smart. By the way, I have to tell you, you know, I'm not like most people. It's extreme greed. Wait, did I, did I not take damage there somehow? Or did I just recover very quickly? I was out with my parents yesterday. We were at the playground, 11 a.m. I swear to you, almost everybody that I saw looked identical to the I was out on an elegant walk guy. Every single person. I was wondering why I never see guys like that in real life. Apparently it's because they're doing all their errands at 11 a.m. on a weekday. 
Ow. Okay, that's unfortunate. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, uh... Okay. Curly-haired young men with strong jawlines. I, I saw what honestly felt like at least five or six of them. One of these days I'm gonna get you, brother. Get stunned. Oh! That was, we finally got it though. Wait, that's me and that's what I do? <laughs> also, I felt like I was losing my mind. Because I was taking my parents out for lunch at this restaurant. Every time I've been at this restaurant, it's been on a Saturday. And there's been like nobody inside of the um, restaurant. And I've been like, this place is cooked. We went to it on a Wednesday at... 1 p.m. Shit was fucking full, bro. It was bumping. I'm more used to the kind of like weekend dynamic. Where on the weekend people are going out to eat. This shit, this restaurant is a weekday restaurant. And the people are like, this guy finally discovers lunch hour. I'm telling you, these were not mid-work professionals, okay? It's a different demographic here. These were not reservations of doors, you okay? This was not the tractor at the corner of West Georgia and House Street. I shouldn't have committed! Me, when I accidentally pushed the production? You know what I'm saying? Do I know what I'm saying? Commit, commit! I'm going in on him. I don't care if he lights me on fire. We got a shot. I knew it. I was trying to dodge it. Some of those attacks, you can dodge. Some of them, you can't. He's crazy. You got to heal those. You got to dunk those. Ten times I didn't understand the assignment. The assignment was having stamina. Get the fuck out of there, bro. I'm on fire. Okay, calm down. Oh. <laughs> So close. This guy's no problem. We got him figured out. <clears throat> Who's your favorite Dark Souls 1 boss? I would have to say Pinwheel. I think Pinwheel's always been emblematic of, like, good design. He's really scary, too, because I've never seen him actually do an attack. So, like, every time I fight him, I'm scared that he's going to do something I've never seen before. I think it's that kind of, like, it's that potential that scares me the most. What is that, a seven-piece attack? Oh, 
I'll just be honest with you, I haven't earned an Estus yet. I need to see something to, to, to tell me I've earned it, yeah. <clears throat> I'm realizing, by the way, it's crazy to me how people are coming to the stream and saying, wow, this is really like a From Software ripoff, huh? Yeah, that's why it's good. All of the other From Software ripoffs, the biggest problems that I had with them were the things that they changed. In this one, I'm like, this is the best non From Software From Software game. And it's because they literally just put the shit in a Xerox machine and said, like, run it back, but slightly worse. Which is really what it is. It's not slightly worse than, uh, than, like, Sekiro is still really good. No, I've not played Neo, okay? I've not played Neo. Okay, but just eat me. I mean, I'll get eaten by you is what I mean to say. Again, around here, you have to earn your esthesis. <laughs> I'm tapping the X button like it makes the loading go faster. Chat be like, why they copy so much? Then go play Pokemon. It's me, I'm chat. Hey, but did you see starting on September 27th, you can get Galarian Growlithe with increasing frequency from following routes? We're so back on Pokemon Go, by the way. I have, like, I would say six to eight people sending me gifts daily. I can actually afford, like, healing items to use my favorite Pokemons now. It's a new world. How's raiding going? Non-existent. Every time. Stam me. Tell Niantic, we will not be doing the raids. Get his ass. Diablos Community Day this weekend? Bro, who cares about Diablo? We're talking about Pokemon Go, the best social game ever made. Why every time? Why Why try to sidestep? You know why? Because the sidestep works on the other attack. The game's teaching me bad lessons. <laughs> oh. No, I haven't played the Monster Hunter Niantic game. I, again, I can only give you my opinion. I'm not like other gamers that are trying to tell you, like, this is the way it should be forever. By the way, I said, okay. Sorry. I was about to issue a personal attack against another individual. But in the wake of all the, the Microsoft leaks, I saw a tweet. I'm so sorry for this librarian. I don't know if you're going to be able to find it. But it was like... A tweet from a... I, I, I guess what I'm trying to make fun of is like grown adults who are really invested in the console war. Like if you're 12, I get it. But there's actually like people over the age of 18, possibly even over the age of 40, whose name is like Xbox is better than PlayStation. And they're, they all pay for Twitter blue. And I saw it was like Phil Spencer walking into E3 2027 after they buy Nintendo. And it was like a, a scene from an Indian movie where everybody's doing like a coordinated dance. And it's got Phil Spencer's head superimposed over the lead actor like a jib jab. And then like he's getting flanked by two individuals. One of them is Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft. The other one was Joe Biden. 
and they were all doing the dance and then they like keep walking into like a, a bigger room where there's like more people and they all have like games industry heads on them like doing the dance and I'm like how fucked up does your life have to be to like to tweet that man it's so like you're an adult <laughs> Just, just full stop. You're an adult. Like you don't have other stuff going on. You're like the video game console that I bought is gonna beat the video game console that I didn't buy. Phil Spencer texted me the frick back. Okay, horrible start. All of my stam. Led Zeppelin voice. Hooked. Yeah, fair enough. I just can't imagine, like, being an adult. Well, I guess... <laughs> now, like, everyone was like, yeah, yeah, so true. But then, like, I'm going to take it to the level where it's sort of, I guess, more real now. I just can't imagine being like that into the fandom for anything as an adult. To the extent that you would make like a detestable meme like that with, with no value either culturally or even from like a sense of humor standpoint. I see it, I saw it as well, like a tweet that was like, um, who's the lead actress from uh, Killers of a Flower Moon? It was like a picture of uh, Emma Stone and it was like Emma Stone's reaction after finding out that Lily Gladstone is competing in Best Actress instead of Best Supporting Actress. And it was Emma Stone going like, like she's upset. I was like, I get like you work in the film industry, but like, I just can't imagine. I don't know, I, 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 I that's just a joke, though. I mean, it is. A, I mean, it's a joke about something you care about. I'm trying to do this bit in the, like, the most good-natured way possible without, like, falling prey to let people enjoy things. But I am, like... Like, you're not them. Like, if you're Phil Spencer, I get it. Phil Spencer's like me, if he sent a, a meme in the group chat that was like me walking into E3 2028 after Microsoft buys Nintendo and he sent that gif, I would be like, of course, he's him. And if Emma Stone in the, in the group chat was like, uh, my reaction now that I see that Lily Gladstone is running in the best actress uh, category instead of best supporting actress, I'd be like, that's you. But like when it's, when they don't know you, I'm like... You gotta start taking ultimate frisbee intramurals at the community center. You gotta, you gotta fill up your life with stuff that's relevant to you as an individual. That's just my two cents though, I'm not telling you how to live your life. Hang on, this guy's so ownable. Always be circling. Always be ulting. More of that attack, please. I forgot what I forgot what button was it that <laughs> I own Microsoft stock. Do I get to post that? No, that's with all due respect, I know you think that maybe it does mean you get to post it, but it's actually even worse. When people are like their Twitter account is like I'm an MSFT shareholder and like all their posts are about like how good Microsoft is. I'm like, you're not even like a person anymore. You're like a shareholder first and like a, 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 a human being living their one life on planet Earth second. Even the dude who's the CEO of Microsoft, like the first thing in his Twitter bio is probably like husband, comma, father, comma, inventor or something like that and your ass the first thing in your twitter bio is i own microsoft shares like just look at the patriots <laughs> 
surely you gotta understand the the difference there. I have no stamp. Fuck the Seahawks, by the way. Um, excuse me, they're my favorite football team by virtue of being the closest one to me geographically. Okay, I'm gonna give you the keys to the kingdom, chat. Every time I die because I'm not using a heal, when a heal would obviously be the right play, please say he thinks he's hot. Because that'll be very annoying for me to hear. And that will incentivize me to play better. Not he thinks he's hot. He thinks he's Hob. Hob, the gamer, Hob. The Happy Hob, Dark Souls Hitless, everything Hitless, Macros' favorite streamer, he joined us for that Charity Warzone tournament that time. What are you doing? Stay out of the fire! I'm trying to heal, okay? It's that simple. You're gonna have to block that at least once if you wanna beat this guy. Get his hands. He's going fire mode! Get out of there! Okay, that's fine. Pop one of those before we die. Switch back to Estus, you might get one back soon. No fire, please. Mission failed. <laughs> okay, honestly... That's hard. He thinks he's Hob? I didn't have a heal. You're using it, you're using it incorrectly. You gotta use it correctly. It's really hard. I was, you know, operating under the assumption he would not use his gun at point-blank range. Obviously, it didn't work out that way. Have you talked about Dan being on that TV show yet? No, because I've... it's not confirmed, right? Dan doesn't tell me anything. I mean that sincerely. Have you ever tried, I mean, have you ever tried to ask him a straight question? The dude is a, a social master. You'll be like, what'd you have for lunch yesterday? And he'll be like, okay, Ryan, Gary, first let me ask you this. What do you think that I would have for lunch if I was you? And you're like, I don't fucking know, like a Caesar salad? And he's like, you may be right. You may be right. And then he completely changes the subject, like the, the, the next sentence he says. So I have no idea if he's going on it. I, but he, he incepted my ass too, because I googled... Yep, fair enough. I googled... Um, was it called Traders or something like that? I googled Traders Season 2 cast and was like, is Dan confirmed for this? It's called The Traders. It's confirmed now? That's sick. I will be watching. Killian Mbappe meme image, we will be there no matter what. I also heard that it's like... The easiest show to commit to because it's like filmed in two weeks instead of three months. 
It's on Peacock. No! Wait, I get real NBC, dude. I get real NBC. I, I can't watch it on real NBC. I can't get like a friends and family pass or something. So breakable. He's so baby. I'm going for it. That didn't that didn't go for it at all. The hell was that? Imagine if it was on prime video. So true. The watch parties would go crazy. I know I've said this before, and not everybody agrees with me, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for prefacing every sentence I say with this is just my opinion. I promise I didn't talk like that before I was a pseudo-public figure on the internet. Hang on. Hang on. I'm focused here. This bullshit. He's so breakable. What? Bullshit, bro! He's he's not stunnable when he's uh, doing his thing? His stagger window is over. You know what? You're over. Out of your mind, Gabi. That is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm pissed now. <laughs> anyway, I was gonna say, <clears throat> it's crazy that the online streaming landscape is so cooked that I simply, I don't know if they could make a show good enough that would incentivize me to lock into my or log into my Amazon Prime Video account. I will probably always have it because of the fact that we use Prime for shipping, but like... I mean, I'm not watching anything to begin with. But if I got like 20 minutes to watch something, my ass is not starting with like, hang on, let me open my password manager. <laughs> Thursday night football. If I if if they got some hockey, I would log in for sure. Certainly would beat the pants off Sportsnet, but worth. All my homies hate sports net. It's the worst network out there. Next to TSN. Good hit, kid. Good hit. Yo, my wife and I are eating Subway right now. Guess our orders. Okay, but here's the thing. If I guess your wife's order, nobody in check can ever call me a misogynist ever again. I'm gonna say I don't have to get it exactly right, but like if I get it, if I get the order right, then that counts, okay? My, no deal, fuck you. Cause I already know that women love sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Tell me I'm wrong. You know what's great? I, be, I bet like 500 people are gonna be like, this sushi bit was too far, but he's right about the sweet onion chicken teriyaki stuff. <laughs> so true, so true. Oh, man. 
accurate but incorrect. Okay, I can live with that. Well, you, you got yourselves a, a special lady then, if she didn't get a sweet onion chicken teriyaki. I've earned a heal. Yeah, I earned that one. Bullshit. I'm alive? Still earned it. Still earned it. He's so baby. <laughs> She's gonna drive me insane, man. Oh, run. Got a note, note to self, hyper stall on that one. Note to self, he thinks he's hob. Excuse me, I have no heals. What if, what if we just popped one? Sanest ult of all time. Go in. Go in. Go in. That was a crazy ult, bro. <laughs> Woo! I didn't read any of this shit they just put on the screen. I was mashing the button like a fiend. It's crazy too, because now that we know um, that Dan's going on the show. What do we have here? A no! Puppet. You know exactly I that's when the Elden Ring DLC is going to drop. Second floor. Think it belongs to him? We got to ask what happened sometime. Now's good. Um, what the scallop? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> I am, I am, I am Superman. And I can't... Thank you, REM Poster, for grounding me. Can I say, by the way, Librarian, I'm not doing this... I'm not upset with you, okay? But I feel the need to defend myself. This happened, again, when Dan sent me the verse for Acquiesce. And he said, here's where your part starts. And then I recorded it. And then when he sent it to the editor, they moved me like half of a measure offset from when they told me the start was going to be, so my flow was all jacked up and stupid. Not to say that it would have been great to begin with, but like they literally started me at the part of the song that was not where they said I was going to start. You, you got the same thing going on with the Cool Ethan song. You got the piano starting after the vocal start. It's, it's like my voice is ahead of the piano. We need to start the piano a little bit earlier now, nobody else but me has seen Slackers, so nobody else noticed, but still, it's okay. You don't need to remake it, I'm just saying. They really did a number on you. Uccinella was proof that puppets possess true courage. I will not rest until I'm the one who asked about Slackers? Okay, you, you and me, Nolan Soft. There will be ample time for that. First, I must thank you for a truly heroic piece of work. The factory is ours again. 
Huzzah! Here, here! Really bad shape after this. Let us return to the hotel and rest while we can. What do you mean, us? Who are who are you? <laughs> Yo, of course, Mr. Jensen is so nice. I'm gonna give him the double switch, double stitch for free. One of the people on Dan's season is John Burkow, former UK Speaker of the House. That's crazy. To put that in familiar terms for my Canadians watching, that would be like if uh, Ryan Malcolm from Canadian Idol went on the Traders Canada season two, and one of his opponents was former Speaker of the House MP for Kingston and Thousand Islands, Peter Milliken. I appreciate that, thank you. So I realized I need more stamina. And I could always use more damage. Thank you. Can you put it in American terms? Um, yeah. It's like uh, Dan Giesling going on The Traders Season 2 with um, former Speaker of the House John Boehner. To see you made it back in one piece, my there you are. Without the ah, but if the name why like it's a grinder stone. A grinder stone? They grant special effects to your weapon. You can use a special grindstone's effect in battle only once, but it recharges if you revive or visit a stargazer. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You don't know if it's resin. Nobody's made it further in the game than I am right now. This is a world's first. Well, get this busted grinder out of here. Give me... Where's my... Where's my new grinder? Where's my new grinder? Grinder? You have to talk to him or a stargazer to equip it. Okay, okay. Ah, then my eye just... You are... I will also... I always welcome... Switch grindstone of grinder. Temporarily imbues weapon with fire. Okay. I don't know why I put it in the second slot. <laughs> I always will. Can I maybe un? <laughs> you unequipped. Ah, you're right. You're right. You got some more quartz, too? I'll take a look. I don't have any crescent moonstones. You can bring Eugenie cranks to alter weapon handles. Sure, put a... No, not on that, though. Hang on. Put, you put a, a technique crank on this bad boy? A booster glaive handle? Do you wish to alter the handle by using technique crank? Is that like why you have to switch from right to left sometimes? Otherwise, you're going to give yourself a little curve. Wait, is that true? Monka S? <laughs> Bro, where's, where's my quartz lad? Where my quartz land from the front to back. And if you're feeling that, put one hand up. Can you repeat that? Quartz land? You were walking by him as you asked. Ah, oh, he's in the room at the top. Courts me, bro. This looks like I'm about to start playing vertiginous golf. Phase two must be activated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Double dodge. 
I mean, pulse cells, sure, I can understand that. Staggerable status, though, this seems valuable. I have one quartz. No, I have two quartz. That's good. Let's get... Um, Increase stagger duration. And let's get... <sighs> fucking, who cares, man? <laughs> okay, just let me, let me dodge some fucking attacks, man. Let me dodge some attacks and then punish them with attacks of my own. It's just too much. I feel like NL was a good Charlotte fan. Um, I was a little bit. I mean, I was part of the pop punk zeitgeist for sure in the very early 2000s. But I, I never owned a good Charlotte album. Now, did I listen a little bit to the Motivation Proclamation? Absolutely. Without a doubt. Were you a Blink-182 fan? I mean, I never turned their songs off on the radio. I was into all the pop-punk bands, quite frankly. Mid-Charlotte? I mean, in the, going back, they're not great, obviously. But like, I, I would say I was into pop-punk until it became superseded by like the, the scene movement, at which point I was no longer in high school, so I went to university and I started listening to this listening to Beach House instead of the used. This is going to explode. Fire canister. Yeah, maybe if it's an at will employment state. Wait. Is this not... Maybe this is a new area. Don't do it. <laughs> Hit it with the full menace. Okay, you're a, you're a quick laddie. Two quick laddies. Oh, I've put fire on my weapon by accident. When I want to heal. Acceptable. You ever figure out what a, what a sawtooth wheel is? It's a rock you throw. Fair enough. Me when I'm in a coal mine museum. The carpets look pretty clean for a coal mine museum. I knew it was coming, man. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a good joke. Would I say that I get it? No, I would say I don't really get it. But that's okay. There's lots of things I don't get. Shampoo at the shampoo store. That's a big one. It's from an HBO show. Ah, see if you—that's your. You might think that uh, you should use a reference to something modern so that I'm more likely to get it. But really, the only references that are gonna make sense to me come from the mid 2000s for sure. Maybe the 90s, but certainly nothing released 2020 or later. Except for I did see the one where they go in to the, um, the only self-cleaning bathroom in New York City, and then they trick it into thinking that he's not still in there, and then he's still in there, and then the bathroom almost murders him with <laughs> uh, all the automatic cleaning stuff. That is a very good clip. I have a will to live. Confirmed. Ooh. 
big pipe wrench head, big pipe wrench handle. I love that everything in this game is named psychonically, like J.R.R. Tolkien was hopped up on NyQuil, but then all the weapons are called big pipe wrench. <laughs> Fireman's axe. And then like a fucking, a throwable rock is sawtooth wheel. I'm kind of into that. I mean, people aren't ready for this take yet, and uh, I'm going to get lambasted for it. And that's okay. I genuinely think if we're talking game of the year right now, Lies of P might be my current number one. I know it's a little crazy. Number two, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Number three, I wouldn't know, honestly. Play more games? You understand the irony of saying play more games so that I can have the same game of the year as you, right? No, I don't? Well, okay, fair enough. Then I understand why you said it. Uh, no! I'm crazy. I'm not the same dude you free soloed earlier. I, I actually own him? We stand in the heat. Life is not tried, it is merely survived when you're standing outside the fire. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Almost flipped my Herman Miller over. You broke his shovel though? I did break his shovel! Yeah, I think it's... I mean, this is why I won't make a ga uh, Games of the Year list. I think Lies of P is number one for me right now. What the hell's going on in here? Oh, this is the other entrance. <clears throat> Recency bias? No, 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 you can only call something Game of the Year after it's been out for, hey Siri, uh, when did Baldur's Gate 3 come out? You can only call something Game of the Year if it's been out for uh, 48 days, okay? If something's been out for 8 days, that's recency bias. At day 47, that's when you can start to accurately uh, uh, figure out how you feel about things. Counter-Strike 2 next week. Killian Mbappe face. I will be there no matter what. And by no matter what, I mean as long as the, the trick works where you can put in the Steam properties, you can put like launch in direct X mode so that I can actually use game capture instead of display capture to, to record my gameplay. So you know the game of the year is actually Baldur's Gate 3? No, I don't, because I don't I, I don't concern myself with what the game of the year is. My game of the year so far is Lies of P. Any variety of, of game may be better, as long as I've not played it, that's for sure. I'm not worried about the I mean again, if I were macros, I could understand this opinion. Because I worked on Baldur's Gate 3, if I were macros. But I'm, if you're just like a guy, and you're like, I can't believe GameSpot's giving games, Game of the Year to Tears of the Kingdom instead of Baldur's Gate 3, I'm like, little bro, you're not Baldur. I'm Baldur, and I still don't even care that much. Don't 
Don't, don't you, don't you release that Nolan Ryan. I'm not in my I don't care about anything phase. I'm just in my, like, I don't care about the, you know, like the conversation of like, how does this affect Baldur's legacy phase? I'm back in the video games or toys phase. And I'm having a great time with my action figure here. I've been using that launch option for CS2 and it works perfectly. Oh! I'm sure eventually Valve will deprecate it because someone will make like a cheat that requires that to work. But for now, if the cat's away, the mice will play. Do you think people take games too seriously? Yeah, I mean, it's their life. I guess what I'm trying to tease out for myself, it's hard to say it eloquently. I think that people get into video games, at least I can speak from personal experience as a young, when I was a younger man, not as a younger man now, obviously. I feel like you get into video games when you're younger, because you're like, this is fun. And then naturally, the compulsion, is to be like, this is what I'm interested in, so I'm gonna learn more about it. So then gaming sort of becomes like a hobby, but then the more you treat it like a hobby, I feel like for some people, you don't really spend more time actually doing the stuff you love, instead, you seems to be a tendency to get invested in like conversations online about like, how could you possibly think Game X is better than Game Y? Uh, you know, how could you think Console X is better than Console Y? Just stuff that is actually, like, wasn't the reason that you got into the, into the scene in the first place. One day, I'm gonna figure out how to get that attack on you. Oh, Hyperstall. No! No! You think sports are similar in that way? Oh, absolutely. But that is like, without being disrespectful, it's like the most gamer response. is like, oh yeah, maybe I'll quit arguing about video games and just start arguing about sports ball instead. And I'm like, no, you should just, you know. I, you know what, I, I, without trying to, I don't want to be one of those guys who's like, here's the problem with society. Well, I think, they, like, there's something in the human brain, it's like a, a compulsion to find other like-minded individuals. So you were like, I enjoy watching hockey. And then you're like, well, if I enjoy watching hockey, I should start reading about hockey to learn about, you know, other stuff and talk about it with other like-minded individuals. And then you find other like-minded individuals, and that's where the problem starts. <laughs> Because now it gets wrapped up in, you know, your identity is, like, part of it. So you're like, I own an Xbox. You bought an Xbox because you love Halo. And then, like, two years later, you're spending all your free time arguing online that, like, Microsoft is going to kick Sony's ass in their quarterly reports coming out next week. And you're like, I think if, you know, it's the boiling frog in the, in the hot water. Like, if you, if you age 15 were asked if that's what you wanted to do with your time, you'd be like, no, that's like a loser's pursuit. But, you know, night by night, you sort of just find yourself getting more, because you make friends with the people on the Xbox forums, and you get inside jokes together, and then, you know, you get the idea. Oh, I thought he's, he despawned. I thought they Dark Souls to me because I got hit here so many times. Nice try. I'm sure it applies in like other fields. Like, I don't think it's just games. But I'm closest to games. So I see it most often. I'm sure if you're like really into cars, like, you know, if you work at the car store with a bunch of other guys who are into cars, 
you make fun of someone who drives like a Toyota Tercel or something like that. Meanwhile, it's a perfectly reliable compact sedan from the 90s, you know? I'm not saying hobbies are toxic. I think it's more like the communities that can surround hobbies are toxic. Like, I bet in the same archetype of, like, annoying gamer, there's, like, annoying golfer, annoying tennis pro. There's definitely annoying board game fans, for sure. Perhaps even more so than, than video games. Okay, that was bullshit. That was, that was some Dark Souls 2 shit. I attacked the wall. You should be harmed. I think it's one of those things... I always try to get it in myself as well. Like, I remind myself, like... If you enjoy doing a thing, you don't need to take the extra step to be like, I'm going to go to doingathing.com and like read up about it. If you want to and it serves you, that's fine. Oh no, not like this. Not like this. But like maybe stop before you become a mod of like, you know, fly r slash fly fishing and then you're that's not fly fishing, you're using a drop lure. 24 hour timeout. Permanent. That's not a grilled cheese, that's a melt. I'm mostly saying that for myself. Note to self, if I start playing pickleball, do not go to r slash pickleball. Anytime that you would spend going to r slash pickleball, just go read a book or something. It might be nighttime, so you might not be able to play pickleball yourself. But you, you don't have to go to, you know, check out what I saw at my local court this morning. This is ridiculous. No piddle pickleball player should ever be wearing cleats on the pickleball court you know you could just just go read a book or like look at the sunset or something like that play more lies of two because it's my game of the year I mean, why would you wear cleats? Listen, as someone who's never played pickleball, I just tried to think of something quickly. <laughs> Does the ball look like a pickle? Not any pickle I've ever seen. Certainly not a Polsky or Gorky. I don't know why it's called pickleball, I guess. I am a pickle guy, thank you. Oh no! Thank you for asking. In fact, I'm so used to being the pickle guy. Like, my, my wife doesn't enjoy pickles, but she enjoys cheeseburgers. So sometimes, she'll order a cheeseburger. It's great for me, because I get to have that spear of pickle that comes with it. Yesterday, I was at dinner with my parents. My dad ordered a burger, and there was a pickle on the side, and I instinctively reached for it. And then I would stop myself, and I was like, wait a minute, this is a grown man. This is my father. <laughs> he might want his pickle. <laughs> at the very least, I should ask before I just, you know, reach over and grab it. Did he want it? He ate the whole thing. This time I got you, man. This time... So greedy. 